Hey everyone, it's Angel again, and today I'm going to film this look. I hope you guys like it. I think this is a great look that can be worn during the day or at night, and I'm using my brand new e.l.f. 32 Summer Brights palette, and I'm so excited to use it. I love this palette. So as you can see, it's a very soft mauve and gold with a little bit of brown in it, and um, very soft peach natural cheeks, <laughs> and um, a very nude pink lipstick. And so I think this is a great look for spring, and I hope you guys like it, so keep watching. So I'm using Revlon Photo Ready Foundation in Natural Beige, and I'm using this Studio Tools foundation brush. For a more even finish, I like to start from the middle and kind of work my way out. And since I'm not wearing a primer, I put a little bit of foundation under my eyes to cover up my circles. And I do the best I can to blend as well as I can around the jawline and on my hairline. And um, since my forehead is a little bit darker than the rest of my face, I'm usually a little bit light-handed with the foundation there. I also like to use my fingers for blending around my jawline and around my hairline. Using this Bare Essentials Kabuki brush, I'm just going to use it to buff the foundation into my skin and give me a really nice natural finish. So for my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sable. I'll be doing a review about it later on. I'm going to use it to camouflage the darkness under my eyes, the redness around my nose, my sunspots, and a couple blemishes. I like to use this Sonia Kashuk brush to blend my concealer. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but it's very soft and it gets where my fingers can't reach. It also does a really great job of giving my concealer a really natural finish. So just going back to my Kabuki brush, I'm going to be using my Lancome Dual Finish Foundation Powder in the color Matte Wheat. I just like to use it to even out my freckles, especially when I'm not using a primer. Normally I like to use the Palladio Translucent Powder to finish off with my foundation routine, but since I'm not wearing a primer, I think this is going to give me better coverage. So I already have chapstick on, and since my lips are so dark, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lips by putting on this Revlon lipstick in the color Twinkled Pink. So this Tarina Tarantino blush in the color Parasol is my very, very favorite, and of course I forgot to show you guys what it looked like on my video, so there's a picture for you. And I'm going to be using a large brush just because I think it looks more natural that way, and I don't want to put the color too high up on my cheek because like I said, I want it to be a very, very natural look. And then a little more blending with my Kabuki brush again. So to prime my eyes, I'm just using this e.l.f. eyelid primer. Um, I've been using it a lot lately just because I want to do a full review on it. So making a video in silence was beginning to feel a little bit weird, so the video is about to change. Okay, so I had to move because the sun is coming in through our sunroof and it was casting this really strange orange glow on my face. <laughs> so I had to move uh, just a couple feet and I went ahead and defined my eyebrows using um, just this MAC color from my Tartan palette which is called Showstopper and um, I just went ahead and did one eye so so there it is. <laughs> First thing that I'm going to do is um, with my Chanel brush that I got for Christmas. This is a Chanel number no. two brush um, but you know you know we don't need to spend you know three dollars on brushes. This is a brush that I got at Target for I think like $3.99. This one is slightly bigger than this one um, but they work pretty much the same way. So you know don't waste your money. I just got this for Christmas so I want to use it. So I'm um, taking my e.l.f. palette I'm going to take this color this mauve color right here. So I'm going to load up my brush and um, loosely sweep it into my crease. going to take this brush right here. It's a little bit uh, shorter and I'm going to pick up this color right here, this gold color right here. I'm just going to tap the color in, mostly focusing the color in the middle. 
and kind of blending it outwards from the middle. Then I'm going to take this brush right here. This is a posh crease brush. So I'm going to pick up this color right here. And then I'm going to sweep it loosely onto the outer corner of my lid and kind of push it towards the middle and blend it with that gold color that I just put in. Since I'm using this brush, um, pick this color up right here. Yeah, this color. And I'm just going to put it on the inner corner and blend it towards the middle. And kind of put some right here in the point, the inner point of my eye. And blend it on my lower lid towards the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this color and um, just kind of dot it on the outer corner of my eye and then kind of make little, you know, little swirly motions just to smudge it in. Still using this brush, I'm going to pick up some of this color right here, this brown color. I'm just going to blend a little bit of it into the outer corner of my crease. Before I uh, finish up with my lower lid, I'm just going to go back to my Chanel number no. 2 brush and um, just blend it as well as I can. I like to use this brush for blending because it's really soft. And then also, um, continuing with this brush, I'm going to pick up some of this color right here. Just blend it into my brow bone and kind of bring it around towards the inner corner. I'm going to take this little brush right here that I use for lining. It's also a posh brush. I use this brush a lot. And um, I'm going to pick up some more of this gold color. I'm just going to line the, the bottom middle of my eye with it. And then um, using the same brush, I'm going to um, pick up some of this gold color right here. Continue lining the, from the middle to the outer corner. And then I'm going to pick up some of this golden brown and um, smudge it into the outer corner. Oh, there's peanut. Smudge it into the outer corner and bring it upwards. Be before blending all of those colors on my bottom lid, um, I'm going to go back to this color right here, this mauve color, and pick it up. And I'm going to use that mauve color to kind of blend all of those colors together. So now I'm ready for eyeliner and um, just, I really like a brown liner with this look because I think mauve looks really good with brown. So, so I'm just going to line my eyes and um, as you can see, I just kept the line very simple. I'm going to do a little bit of a natural wing, nothing too heavy. Now I'm going to do something that I really don't like to do because my eyes get really, really irritated. I'm just going to line my waterline with a white pencil. So now I'm just going to curl my lash and finish up with mascara. Just to finish off, I am going to blot my lips with a paper towel and um, add a little bit more of my Revlon lipstick in Twinkled Pink. And, I, and then over that, I'm going to um, put on this Sally Hansen lip gloss, and the color is called Princess. And so that's going to finish my look.
So here's the look. I had to move again because of the sun. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. Um, I, obviously I took my hair down so you wouldn't have to look at my hair like that. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys like this look. I really, really like it a lot. Um, so thank you so much for watching and um, coming soon I'm going to film my very, very first concealer quest video and um, I'm going to dedicate it just to the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. And so watch for that. I look forward to doing that. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you've subscribed already, I thank you so much. So take care of yourself and I will see you again soon. Bye.